Right, we are on Blackheart's Bay and the team on the left side in the blue trunks, the Spanish team El Nexo. And they have a lot of former StarCraft 2 pros or even current StarCraft Plutos. Rogues like Lucifron playing Arthas, Vortex playing Raynor, um, Grand PKT is playing Uther, Alistair, another StarCraft 2 player, um, playing Tassadar, and solo botting it is LOL vs. XD. Their opponents in the red trunks, ADRD playing for 3D Max, Zyku on Thrall, Nickers playing Vala, Leo from Korea <laughs> playing Brightwing, I love these creative names, and Zoltro playing Burden. Yeah, so that's the top team in Europe. You guys are saying a top team in Europe uh, going against 3D Max, so they have a tough fight ahead of them. But I think they got a good draft with this, so let's see what they can make make do here. Alright, we fix this up. Ooh, Elsa coming in. A little bit of damage here. It's three versus one. I, I gotta say, they really think Lucifer is a tough target. And there's a chest spawning. Vortex and Grand PKT already on it. There's a storm. Bot as well, and they already grabbed a lot of coins, but Alistair is in trouble. He can't face shift away. Let's see how Murad is doing down here, a solo botting it. Getting a couple of coins, not that many. Four coins so far for Thrall, one for Raynor, and one for Zeratul. And now, ooh, Felset moving in. So that's gonna be a lot more coins way off 3D Max. It's a good opener. Uh, on Especially on Blackheart's Bay, you can do a whole lot by just winning the map objectives. And Alistair joining the fray again. It really, they're really focusing on Lucifron up here. It's only Leo from Korea and then Thrall and Vala just switching lanes again and again, going for Lucifron, trying to put up some damage, and trying to get on top of him. Oh, and now Zyku is in trouble, low versus XD on the chase, but Leo helping him out there. Alright, uh, check out their uh, talents here once they do get to level 4, give me a sec. And... Can they take the tower? Yeah, they sure can. And Lucifer moving in, Nickers of course, of course backing off a good route onto Zyku and ADRD. But can they turn this around? Vortex catching a lot of fire here. And they're quite low on mana, so he needs to watch out as well. But so far they're just really testing things, a little poke and prods here and there. But not not uh, going for, for the full on out team fight. A little bit too early for that. Alright, level 4 has hit. Ooh, ADRD is in trouble! But he can't dash away, but no, that's an amazing route. Nickers QD, oh, also going down. Double kill and first blood going the way of El Nexo. <laughs> El Nexo's new logo, oh, sorry about that. Um, that should have been a placeholder logo. Thanks for notifying me. And I'll also show the tab screen for Mr. Yorkshire Pegu from Heroes Tempest. Alright, so we got that fixed up and everything out of the way. Our next though, due to that uh, nice little two hero pickup, already got a, um, a little bit of an advantage, half a level. And now they just put the bruises in top lane. So that's uh, gonna get a little bit of aggression onto that on that top lane. Brightwing will need some help to deal with this, especially if Alistair is helping out and killing the minions beforehand. And looks like they're going for the next coins here. The Bloom Tamp already in the sights of Low vs XD, and finally 3D Max also going for for a couple of coins and the Siege Camp in bot lane. It's gonna help out Muradin quite a bit here. But so far he's been doing quite okay against Green Grand PKT. And looks like Ooh, now he's in trouble. He needs to run away from this. This is bot bot chest, definitely going to El Nexo. Top chest uh, should be grabbed here though on the side of 3D Max. Yeah, they will get all coins. So just the divide in the half. Divide, divide in the half for both of them. And still, um, still a little bit of an advantage uh, XP-wise for Alternate. And they're trying the turn in. Wow, Zyku needs to watch out. He has 13 coins. So did uh, Lol vs XD. He had 11 coins. But they couldn't make it happen. They didn't have the entire team here. This is gonna happen later on though. Once they have level 10, they're definitely gonna go for these fights at the turn-in point. 
All right, let's see what the barrages are doing. I don't think they're gonna do all that much. Uh, Vortex didn't do previous damage to to the towers, so I don't think they're gonna take out the fort just yet. And yeah, Alnexo just on top of things with their with their doubloon taking. Already have uh, another four being t oh five already. Raynor also has one. And I think yep. Oh, Thrall definitely needs to turn in. But he needs his entire team with him, otherwise uh, he might run into issues there. Mold vs XD just scouted them out, it's gonna probably signal his entire team to get there, but so far it's only Lucifer on Mold vs XD, and Mold vs XD caught up, but he stops the channeling, and now might catch a lot of damage, but they let Jesus reach level 10. That's the Void Prison, Zaiku and Nickers are trapped. A good Divine Storm, Zaiku is trapped there on the left side, and a nice root by Arthas. So that's uh, 13 coins going the way of Elnex, so not really what you want to happen on 3D Max on 3D Max side. Nickers gets away, and so does Zoltro. But that was definitely uh, a costly loss. Definitely a costly loss, and wow, just so well timed by El Nexo. Definitely uh, could be the moment of the game. But 3D Max, I mean, they're they're still in this. They're gonna face a, another barrage here. Uh, probably gonna hit top um, once mid is taken out. Yep, that's mid going down. And wow, since they're not level 10 just yet, uh, that boss is definitely a free boss for El Nexo. Ooh, they have reached level 10. I don't think they spotted them taking the boss though. Let's see, Zyko, he's getting into position. They can't stop the boss. I don't think they can. They're gonna try to position himself, maybe catch them, but no. Uh, Alistair even using the Oracle to scout them out. And that's the boss waltzing in the top lane. So they have to deal with him and then also be cautious of what El Nexo is doing here. Two coins going the way here. Of, um, Team 3D Max and looks like they will be able to stop that boss. But um, El Nexo at the same time, they're gonna go for some steals, gonna grab a couple more coins. Let's check how many they have right now. Oh jeez, don't do math on stream. 4, 6, uh, 10, 12. So two more and that's gonna be it for the siege camp. So it's gonna be two more. And once they have that, uh, they're going to go for their next barrage. And that would already be the third barrage, if I remember correctly. Oof, all coming in from the top. Uh, nice sundering there on Lord vs. XD, but didn't really get the divide on it. Ooh, so far, no disrupt on, on Nickers. Kind of surprising he actually went for strafe. Don't see that all that often. Emerald Wind uh, taken by Brightwing and um, up here the Avatar and Sundering. Um, Hinterland Blast by Falset. Uh, did we see that in action yet? I don't think so. Change in lane. Is it still not changed? <laughs> Maybe it's bugged for some reason. Oh, they're trapped down here. A great Void Prison catching Zyku, Zoltro and ADRD. And there comes the follow-up by Uther. And Zalku goes down again. And they're caught out in full retreat. That's two level advantage for El Nexo. Wow. Really getting a good start in this match. That's the Bruiser Camp going their side. Let's see, are they gonna are they gonna go for a push already or are they gonna grab some more seed shines to follow this up? Looks like they might do both. Zero Tool is going nope. Uh, Zero Tool going straight for that Dubloon Camp. So they just want to have a couple more coins for that next turn in. <laughs> and, well, it's still ways to go. That was just the third one for El Nexo. And so far none have been taken by 3D Max. So 3D Max has to deal with the Bruiser camp for now. And meanwhile, in the meantime, El Nexo going for more bruises in top lane. And, um... I think they have a lot of uh, doubloons already. Yep, uh, eight already. Uh, they need eight more, so it's gonna take a while. And just two more on 3D Max's side, which could happen pretty soon, but nope. They're still caught out by the bruises here. And that's gonna be um, yeah another ten doubloons going the way of El Nexo. They couldn't really contest that whatsoever. Top, uh, top chest have been taken, and so will bottom chest. The entirety of 3D Max is making a go at this. They're only one level behind right now. They have a little bit of an edge. But nope, not with the entirety moving in again. 
Maybe they can catch someone out, but Thrall can't really get in a good position for sun uh, Sundering. And now Alistair is back with the top of his team. Can't really fight an opening. Uh, oh, Zoltro caught out and he's immediately in the sandwich. There's the shrink, he's going into Avatar for it. Oh, yep, there he is going down. It was a good thunder, an amazing hinterland blast out of ADRD, but is it gonna be enough? Lucifer are getting quite a bit of damage. Thrall is taken out, so it's only three versus five now. Nickers caught out as well. Lol versus I can see jumps in there. There's the double root, and ADRD is in trouble. So is Leo from Korea. They're gonna focus on ADRD for now. He has a couple of coins, but right wing also goes down. That's the team kill. That's the ace for El Naxo, two levels ahead and they're just making a run for it, they're just gonna go and take out this bot lane. Still 20 seconds to go on Felsa, 10 on Valor, 17 on Brightwing, Muradin and Thrall will be back in the game soon, and I think they should go for some more damage in one of these lanes. No, they're just focusing, wow, these teams have really learned a lot, they're just focusing on easy, um, easy clean wins making everything safe, uh, just going for map objectives and not risking anything. Wow. They really did learn quite a bit. Alright, let's check out their level 16 talents here. Ooh, by the way, we have Raynor's Raiders here. Oh well, not really that much of a surprise. And Giant Killer taken by Raynor. Followed by Berserk. What do we have here? Stone Skin. Double bombs on Zeratul as usual. Gathering Radiance. And up here, second strike for Tassadar. And on the other side, Rewind for Muradin, and uh, Frost Shot for Thrall. So just the multi-shot build over here, uh, Thrall did go for Venom earlier, and a giant killer um, coming out of Falstad. Rewind of course on Brightman. And yep, that's, uh, that's, the next, that's the next barrage, it's gonna take out this keep and do some more damage on top. And the next boss, oh no, El Nexo, they're just waiting for it, they set the trap, but fortunately for 3D Max, they didn't go the entire way into it. It's always one side of the it's an El Nexo game. Well, we've pretty much had stomps all night so far, some amazing games nevertheless, but still stomps. And El Nexo, they're just so incredibly good in the team fights, and I don't know, they, they could risk it a little bit. Go play a little risky. I, I'd like to see risky out of them. 3D Max, they shouldn't really risk it. They're two levels behind right now. Oh, Leo from Korea pushing back. And they're just on the run again. They need to wait a little bit. With, with level 16 talents, they might have a chance if they get a really good, strong start going. It's gonna be, tr it's, it's gonna be hard. Oh, that's the next Void Prison. Two players caught in there. Grand PKD goes in. Waiting for that divine storm and it hits. Brightwing goes down. Interland Blast not doing all that much. Zeltro might be able to jump out, but ooh, Arthas, he's still doing that AOD damage. Muradin does go down. ADRD caught up on the left side. Zyko trying to make a stand versus Lucifron, but ADRD, he's so low. Nickers can't really risk it. And now Lord vs. XD jumping in, taking out Felstead. Nickers in the back, trying to screw that strafe, but she is taken out, so it's only Thrall standing. Uh, in front of the entirety of El Nexo, and that's a 30 second cooldown on most of these heroes. I think this might be game once again. And yes, El Nexo, they're just wailing away at that core, just totally ignoring Zaiku. Can't really do all that much. Yep, <laughs> there's another stun on him, and the storm, and that's gonna be game. El Nexo takes it. Not really much of a surprise, but well, we had that glimmer of hope. Tiny, tiny glimmer of hope.